Welcome to our history class and this is our second lesson in communication. This is Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. Now in today's class we'll get to modern forms of communication. But before that, can we get someone to remind us of what we learned the previous lesson on communication? Thank you. That's a good try. We did look at traditional forms of communication. Then we did say we had smoke signals. We had the, the horn blowing. We had also the drum beating, right? We also had uh, written messages, for example, scrolls and stone tablets. But for today, we are getting to modern forms of communication. And your teacher is Rajab. By the end of the lesson, what we expect as learners, we expect to define the term telecommunication and also we'll get to describe the development of the telephone, cell phone and also the television. Can you get to modern means of communication? Now they can be categorized into, we have got telecommunications and also the print media. Now what do you understand about telecommunication? This is the sending and receiving of messages quickly over long distance. That is what we call telecommunication. You are sending and receiving a message within the, 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 the fastest uh, uh, time possible over long distance. For example, you can make a call with someone who is in Canada. You can make a call with someone who is in Australia and pass a message. Now you have sent and received a message quickly over long distance. Now this message can either be verbal, can either be written or pictorial, right? Now for example here, what we are doing, we are passing a pictorial information and also verbal because you can get to hear me and also you can get to see what we are doing. So the message can either be verbal, written or also pictorial. Now remember, there are a wide range of uh, telecommunication through which messages can be sent. So we have got very many examples, right? Through which messages can be sent. And as we said, they can be verbal, they can be written or also pictorial. Can you get to look at some of those examples we have there? We have a telephone, right? The first image. And also we have a cell phone. So there's a difference between the, these two, these two gadgets. The telephone, you can only receive, right? You can only receive a verbal information because you can't see the person. Or also, in a telephone, you, can also, you can't also send a message. You can only receive and send verbal information. But also, can you get to look at our second, our second, our second image, which is a cell phone, right? A cell phone is the gadget that we, 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 we normally now have. Right? In those gadgets, you can either send verbal information, written information, or also pictorial information. That is the difference between a cell phone and a telephone. Now, can we get to look also to other, other, other sources? We have got a television set. Right? In a television set, you can only get to send a verbal and pictorial information. Right? But also, in television set, you can also send uh, written information. Then also we have a radio. A radio also is very common, right? We only send and receive verbal information. For example, how do you send verbal information using a radio, right? Look at the, 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 the news broadcasters. They are sending verbal information. When you, mock, when you make a call to the studio, you are sending a verbal information and also we have print media right this now refers to the published document which provides information for example we have got newsletters we have got newspapers we have got magazines we have got journals and books let us look at an example for example we have got uh, a newspaper stand right if you can uh, if you can closely see that we have got the star right we have got the standard we have got the East Africa Standard. We also have the, the, the Daily Nation. 
we are also we also have the New York Times from our image now that is an example of written 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 information or print media media so we have got the newsletters we have got the newspapers we have got the magazines we have got the journals and also and also the books can we get to try out this activity we have can we get to state free impacts of telecommunication and in this case here yeah, get to state how it has affected positively and also how it has affected the people negatively on our reference can you get to refer to evolving world history form two and that is the, the resource book we are going to use in our assignment now as always as as as, as always this is a limit tv your favorite learning station where you get to watch and learn Thank <laughs> you.